Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in our technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Okay, let's get started. In this video we're going to show you how to connect the HID Signal 25B biometric reader to a Net2 controller. Let's start with the electrical connections. It's a standard connection. Red is positive, black is negative and you're using green and white so to blue and yellow for the Wiegand 0 and Wiegand 1 connection. Once you've done all that we can go to the software and get started. In a previous video, link above, we've shown you how to use the HID Biometric Manager. We showed you how to set the reader up, configure it, how its LED, beha LED behavior works and how to enroll a user onto the system. How, how it works when it's integrated into other systems is that the database of fingerprints or templates or card numbers is all stored within the reader or the HID manager. That's one database. When it's been added to access control, that's a second database, that's a separate database. The information is transmitted um, in most cases, in this instance we'll say, via Wiegand. It, when you present your finger to the device, the device processes your fingerprint, checks it's a valid finger credential, and then outputs the validation as a Wiegand code. If it's a valid read, it will issue a Wiegand code. If it's an invalid read, you'll get a red flashing light at the reader. So first things first, if we were to log into the biometric manager, I've already had my username and password saved there. If we log in there, you can see I've already got a token here. I'm already enrolled in as myself. And if we have a quick detailed look at my details, um, you can see that there's my details. This is my ID number within the um, within the system. And if we look at the um, the card number, the exported card number, you can see my card number is eight one five two. Now, if we were to go to the Net2 software, it's a normal Net2 light, nothing particularly special there. And we go to the controller. I'll just switch that off from desktop. I've, I've been using it for something else. Okay. So this would be a normal setup of the Net2 software. The only changes are we've changed this field here to a Wiegand reader. Um, we're doing it as 26-bit Wiegand and it's token only. If I was to go to users and add a new user, first name and the surname, usual enrollment information, access level, um, all levels, all doors. And remember, that, and then we need to input the, um, the card number, the token number. So if we just flick back to the manager, you can see my credential number, the card number, is 8152. So if I type in here 8152 and add the user. So now my token is valid in the Net2 software. So if I present my reader to, if I present my finger to the reader, we have a valid read. If we just have a quick look at events, you can see there I am. I'll just do that again. There's your token number. And there we go. And that's the way of adding a HID Signal 25B biometric reader to the Paxton Net2 software. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the project team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.